Hello and welcome back to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. This month's um, video comes from Julie Scott. And if you're not familiar with the mystery envelopes, there are seven Close to My Heart consultants. Got a noise going on outside. Got seven Close to My Heart consultants that make up the Makers with Heart. And every month, one of us sends an envelope and they all have the exact same items in them and we get some rules and we create something and so this month Julie says hello summer is crazy so I wanted to make this month's challenge easy or it could be hard however you look at it use any papers accents inks stamps anything you would like but the product you use must be available right now or at the time you make your video on our maker websites and incorporate at least one die cut image sent in this envelope. So she sent us some um, die cuts from the um, Cape Cod digital images collection. And I think a lot of people don't realize that we have a di digital image set that you can use in your Cricut or your Silhouette or your Brother Cut and Scan or any cutting machine that you have that you can cut SVG files for, we have this image for every one of our paper packs. So we used to have the Cricut cartridges. Everyone loved them. They were they were fabulous. And we I still use mine all the time. But we no longer have those cartridges. Cartridges. So now we have the digital image files for each of our paper packs. So we're going to use those. So let's go to Design Space. I'll show you where they are and how to use them. Okay, so here's my design space, and we'll come back to this. I want to show you um, first on my Maker website. I don't know why my thing is frozen right now, but um, if you go to shop, oh, it's moving around. Bear with me. If you go under shop here, my computer's taking for it's thinking. Guys, I apologize. I live rural. Sometimes our uh, internet. So sometimes I can I don't know what happened. One shop, and we get this down here. Come on down, dude. Come on. And then you'll see we have a digital file for each of our paper packs. Right now we have. Cozy Up and Cod. Um, there's other ones down here as well for other paper packs. Um, like there's a digital art bundle for a calendar. So it appears they're only available while the paper packs are available. So keep that in mind. But we do have them for each of our paper packs. So uh, Julie sent us images from the Cape Cod collection. So if you wanted this, you would just click on Add to Cart, and then um, it'll end up. You'll go up here when you're when you're signed in to. Um, well, we'll do it. Come on. So when you look under your name and then you go to account and digital library. Hopefully my design space goes faster than this. You'll see all your digital image collection. You can close a zip file and then you can open that zip file. When I do that, I move them all right over to my desktop for the ease of moving them into Design Space, and I will explain that as well. So I've already done this part of it, so we don't need to worry about that. Once we get to Design Space, you then click on Upload. And um, so I've already... I've, 
this is the image we're going to be using, but to show you how easy it is to upload something, we're just going to click Upload Image, and you can drag it in, which is why I save them on my desktop, so they're super easy to do, and I'm going to just grab the umbrella and drag it right over here, and it's an SVG file, so the background is already removed. You can see by this little checkered pattern here, it's already named Umbrella, and you say Upload. So now, I'm going to put both of these um, Cape Cod images on my mat. I don't know why I put the umbrella, but just so you could see it, I guess. So because it's an SVG, all of the individual layers are there. So under umbrella, we're going to have the little um, stand part. Then we have the two um, umbrella piece parts. So we can ungroup those, and you can see what those parts are. So you have the what looks like the be this metal umbrella hold it together, and then those are the three pieces of that file. So when it's an SVG, those automatically all come in for you already. So each digital image file, it comes with a, a two-page layout page and a card page. And this is the card page. And you'll see from the size that it is coming in at 5.686 and 8.5. And so we're using the card base that Julie sent in our uh, mystery envelope. So I need that to be a four and a quarter by five and a half card base. And so this is the four and a quarter part and this is the five and a half part. So I am going to um, unlock our aspect ratio and make our width 5.5. And because it's all grouped together, it's going to change everything within that. And then because this is four and a quarter and it's going to fold over, it's going to be double, that is going to be the eight and a half, which it already is. So I don't need to change anything there. Now, because Julie has provided us with an envelope, I don't need to actually cut what would not envelope, I'm sorry, a card. Because Julie has provided us a card, I actually don't need to cut this white piece. You totally could if you don't have a, a card base already, but I don't need to because we already have one. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to um, just hover over where it says Sail Away With Me card. I'm going to click this eyeball, and that's going to hide that. I don't need it, so it's not going to cut it. It's not deleting it. I can bring it back just by clicking on it again but I'm going to hide it so it's not going to be a part of the project I'm cutting now. And I also don't need the score line, which is right here, but you can also click on it right here. You can see it's this because we got the binding box right here. I'm going to hide that as well because I don't need it. All I need is what's going to go on the front of the card. Now you can see their colors here. They had the white daisy, which was the card base. Um, then the colors that coordinate with Cape Cod would be Lagoon, Bluebird, and Periwinkle. And I chose to use Capri for mine. So instead of um, the Bluebird, I am going to use Capri. So that's going to change this bluish color here just a little bit um, between Bluebird and Capri. So that is how easy it is to use a digital image. You would then click make it, send it to your uh, machine. This is design space, so it would be a Cricut, and cut it out. Now, some of these are pretty delicate, and these little images right here on the sailboat and this one right here took a little time to get some adhesive on there to, to glue and keep them down. So I'm not going to bore you with you watching me how to assemble this card. Um, I'm going to do that off camera and then just show you the completed card. And you can see here that they have this up and down I'm, and it's on the right hand side. I'm going to change up my card a little tiny bit, nothing too crazy, but um, let's go back to my table and we will see what we've done. <laughs> 